everyone welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be a quick little makeup tutorial get ready with me um, I actually am NOT the greatest at doing makeup but I am going to film this for you guys because I have gotten a ton of questions on the eye makeup um, look that I wore in my church experience slash house update or house hunting update um, so I figured I would try to film that for you guys. Like I said, I'm not a makeup guru. I'm not the best at doing makeup, but I have just learned what works best for me personally, and I'm going to share that with you guys. So um, really quick, before I even get started, I wanted to show you the products I'm going to be using. That way I don't have to stop and explain each product, if that makes sense. Um, so I'm going to be using this LA Colors Eyeshadow Smoky Palette. This is what it looks like, um, and then these are the colors. So the colors I use are this um, color right here, and then I also use this black, and every now and then I'll use this, which I'll show you guys that. Um, I got a beauty sponge. I also use the Matte and Poreless Foundation in the color Ivory. I have the Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. Um, what is this for? I think it's just to smooth out your skin, kind of like a primer, but I love this stuff. It works great, and it makes my eyeshadow stay on for a long time, so... I like that. I also sometimes will use this um, Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. My son got a hold of it and broke the top off, so that's why it looks crazy. But sometimes I use that depending on if I have any breakouts or not. Hold on one second, buddy. Go play. Go find the truck. Then I have two eyeshadow brushes I use. I use a crease brush. This is the one I use for the dark eyeshadow. As you can tell, it's kind of like stained dark. And then I use the fluffy one for the other color. I got my favorite mascara, which is the LA Colors Perfect Curve Volumizing Mascara. It's in this um, silver tube with like a purple label. Kaden, oh, oh. <laughs> this is what it's like to do my makeup every day. Um, I got a big fluffy brush if I put like powder on or contour, which I'm probably not going to do that today because it's hot outside and, you know... Anytime I put powder on, I feel like I just sweat, and it makes my makeup look so cakey and gross. I'd rather not wear it. I don't know how to explain it. But anyway, then I also got my last thing I use is the Almay Liquid Eyeliner. This is like has a um, shimmer to it, which is really weird. I don't really care for the shimmer, but I love the liquid liner. So I'm going to be using that. All right. Got to go play for a minute so I can get this done, okay? Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Go play. Yeah. Alright, so first step I always do is I put on this Maybelline baby skin stuff. I don't always use this like I said. Um, I actually recently got it again because I had used it years ago and loved it. This is back like when I worked at Walgreens. Kaden, no jumping. Get down please. Let me get him occupied real quick. Okay, so I'm trying to get them to go watch a movie for a minute. I gotta find my mirror. So if I do use powder, I wanted to mention this, I do use the LA Colors Press Powder. It's from Dollar Tree. Um, but once again, my son got into my makeup and shattered it into a million pieces. So that will not be happening today. Um, but starting off with the Maybelline Baby Skin, I have like a tiny little bit on my finger. You can probably barely see that. Um, but I just put like a dab on each eyelid. I put some on my forehead, some on my nose. And then some, like, right here. And this stuff goes a long way. Like, you literally only need a tiny bit. And I just, like, rub this in. And this, like, mattifies my pores. I don't know how it does it, but I have, like, a lot of, like, pores on my nose. Um, and it, like, hides them, which is great. So, I do that. And see, like, I feel like it already kind of, like, blurred out some of the imperfections. I don't know. Maybe it's just a mental thing. But next, I go in with my foundation I just shake it up like I said this is the matte and poreless and I do a couple dabs on my beauty blender which I'm out of this I just bought it <laughs> y'all I left my makeup bag down and my son got into it and it was a nightmare there was foundation everywhere all over him all over everything it was ridiculous but I just kind of dab this all over like that and just work it all in there And by the way, this is like a full face of makeup. This is like what I would do if I was like going out <laughs> to like dinner for me, um, like it out a date night with like my husband. This is exactly what I would do. I don't wear a ton of makeup. I don't like the way it feels. 
But if I do wear it, this is exactly what I would do. Like, on a normal day-to-day -day basis, I wear just, like, mascara or something. Or nothing at all. Okay. There we go. Okay, so that's about it. Now moving on to the eyeshadow. I use the bigger fluffy brush, and I use this color right there. And I put that all over my lid. So, I'm going to use my little mirror right here. Hopefully you guys can see this. But I just go like this back and forth. Very light-handed. Like, I'm not, like, pressing this into my eyelid, if that makes sense. I'm just, like, very lightly sweeping it back and forth to make it, like, super smooth. And with that um, Maybelline, like, instant pour eraser stuff on my lid and the um, foundation, it makes, like, a really smooth surface. So... I'm just going back and forth like that. And then... Okay, so it might look crazy right now, but it'll look good, I promise. Um, so I'm just go back and forth. And then... Without even, like, blending the rest of it out. Like, I, I kind of blend everything out at the very end, and you'll see why. Um, but now I'm going in with the more of a crease brush. I just very lightly tap that in the dark black shade I showed you guys. And then I put this on the outer portion of my eyelid only. And I kind of, like, press it in on this one. Like, with the black, I press it on there. Like, very gently on both sides and then I'll kind of blend it in together. Hi, See, so that's about how it looks. It looks a little crazy right now, but I promise it comes together at the end. And I have, like, two completely different eye shapes on both sides of my eye. Like, I think this eye is, like, a little bigger than the other one. So I try to, like, um, make my eyeshadow, like, even. But it's kind of hard. Like, my eyes are not twins. They are, they don't match at all. But now going back in with the fluffy brush, I kind of just, like, blend this all out. I just go right over it and just sweep it back and forth together. And I do the same thing on this side. And then if I need to add in more, I just kind of, once again, tap it in there like that. That's about how, oh, whoop. <clears throat> and like the key to like, I feel like a smooth eye makeup look is blending it out. Um, and I love these, this brush. These are from, you can get these at Dollar Tree. You can get them at Walmart or Walgreens anywhere, but they're only a dollar at Dollar Tree. And this is just the Wet n Wild Fluffy Brush, and then this one was called the Crease Brush, I think. Either way, I love these brushes. They're great, and I've been using, like, I always buy new ones because once I wash them, like, they don't ever feel the same again. It doesn't matter what product I use, they all, they feel different, and it puts my eyeshadow on different. So, like, once they get to the point where they're, like, stained up like these, I usually just buy new ones um, because they're only a dollar, and there's nothing better than a fresh new makeup brush. <laughs> but anyway... That is kind of it for the top eyeshadow, and then what I do is I use the um, crease brush that I just used for that, and I use whatever's left on it to do, like, my under eye, like, water, like, underneath, like, under here. Um, and the reason why I do that is because if I dip it in there fresh, it's just too much. So I just use what's on it, and it it's plenty. So I'm going to try to set this mirror up to where I can use my other hand, but I just, like, pull my lid down like that and I just kind of like sweep it up under here like this just like that that is it um 
I don't do a ton underneath because my eyes are already so tiny that whenever I add too much black under here, it makes my eyes look even smaller than they are, so I try to keep them more open. And I feel like this already makes my eyes look more open, even though I've, I haven't even done anything else except for eyeshadow yet. Um, now, since that part is done, the part, like, in the video where I had, um, I talked about the church experience and the house update, I use this shimmery shade right there on the inner corners of my lid. So I'm going to go ahead and do that because that's the eye look that y'all really liked. So what I do is I just tap my finger in it like that, and then I just put it right on the eyelid, just like that. And I do that on both sides. And for some reason, this side always looks so much more bright because this is where the whole eye shape thing comes back. Like, I think that this eye is naturally more open than this eye. I don't know how to explain it. But that is it. Just like that. And now, moving on to eyeliner, what I do with this is I just do this on the outer portion of my eye. Like, once again, if I bring it in here, it closes my eyes back up because I have, like, what they call hooded eyes. So, I try to keep all the darkness on the outer portions. So, I start, like, right here, really close to my eyelashes. And do a line and then I'll sometimes do a wing sometimes I don't do a wing today I'm gonna do one just for the sake of this video hopefully it turns out okay um, but what I do is I come right here to the corner of my eye and I go like straight up towards like my eyebrow like see how my eyebrows right there I kind of like make a line like that so just like that of course, my dogs would start barking right now. I do the same thing on this side. I go right against the water, or right against the um, eyelash line. Excuse my dog, please. They are barkers. They bark at everything. Okay, so that is it. Let me let them in real quick. Okay, so of course they didn't want to come in. But anyway, that's how it looks with the eyeliner and the eyeshadow. It's not like 100% perfect, but here we go again with this little blender. I'm going to go in and blend this out just a little bit more. But obviously you want to wait till your eyeshadow or your eye liquid eyeliner is um, dry. Because if you try to do this while it's wet, it's going to like smear everywhere. But I just want to like kind of blend in that sparkly eyeshadow. And now, I'm moving on to the mascara, and that's all I do. <laughs> that's literally, like, my makeup look. And sometimes, like, if I want to look more glam, I will do, like, a little bit of contour, maybe. Like, not a lot, because I feel like I look not cute with a lot of contouring. But I'll do, like, a little bit of blush or something, a lipstick, um, and maybe I'll even do, like, my eyebrows. But I feel like I'm one of those girls where if I do my eyebrows, I look like I tried way too hard and I don't know how to do my makeup if that makes sense um if I ever do have like darker eyebrows what I do is I take the same um brush that I use for my eye makeup and I kind of just gently kind of like brush over like my eyebrows like that to kind of darken them up right here in the inner like right here in this portion because they're kind of thin but that's like basically all I would do for like my eyebrows if that makes sense I'm now using my mascara, my um, favorite mascara of all time, and I just put a ton of coats on this, so I'm probably going to speed this portion up because it takes forever, but all I do is I dip it in there, and I just kind of do like one coat, I kind of let it dry for a second, and then do more, and just keep adding until I like the thickness um, of my eyelashes. You can ride the blue. I want to do what you want to. We can leave and run away someday, someday. So after the mascara, I just take like a baby wipe and I like clean off my lips because usually when I put the foundation on, I kind of get um, like foundation all over them. And then they look hidden in my skin. <laughs> so that is it. 
that's all I do usually. Um, like I said, sometimes I will put like powder on my face, but I'm not going to do that today because we actually have to go somewhere and it's super hot. So I'm probably going to start sweating. And if I put powder on for some reason, like when I sweat, the powder gets like cakey looking and you can literally see it like sitting on top of my skin. I have not found a powder that works good for me um, for as much as I sweat, if that makes sense. But anyway, that is it for this makeup look. That's all I do. Um, sometimes, like I said, if I want to get a little bit more glam, like I said, I'll add some like contour or even like some highlight, you know, on my nose and stuff. And if I do do that, I use the same eyeshadow palette. I just use that shimmer color, the same one I used on my inner corner. I'll do that like, you know, a little bit, like maybe right here on my nose, some right here. But that's if we're going out to dinner and I want to look more glam, even though... I feel like no matter how much makeup I put on, I still don't look, like I've seen girls put like makeup on, for instance, um, like Amanda Ensing, you know, she starts off with like a clear face and by the time she's done, she looks like completely different and I don't understand it. I don't know how her makeup looks so perfect. Like I've tried so hard and I've watched makeup tutorials like my, for so long and I cannot do it. Oh my gosh, I really would love to go to like a makeup artist, like one, like maybe like to her or even, um, I don't know, like Megan, she's from Child, Child Bella XO, um, who's the other one? Stephanie Lita, I think is her name. She is SML XO. I love her makeup tutorials. She's so, so beautiful and she has really dark, like long hair and I love that. Um, so yeah. But maybe one day I will go get my makeup done by them and film it. Who, not by them, but by a makeup artist and show you guys, like, the difference between my makeup and then, like, a full glam. <laughs> but anyway, this is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.